Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. Today, we're going to take a look at Delta 8. What is it? Why is it illegal? All that good stuff. With us, Katrina Glogowski, angel investor and attorney. Thanks for being back on The Talking Hedge. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, so this article from the Brightfield Group talks about uh, Delta 8 um, and essentially what it is. So if you don't know, it's a variant of the THC Delta 9. Um, so it's a cannabinoid that everyone's familiar with, the psychoactive Delta 8, um, and is kind of a, a, a lesser um, uh, mind-altering psychoactive component than Delta 9. So it's kind of like THC comes from hemp, but it's not as potent. I guess. Think of it easily, Josh, as THC light. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I was struggling with that, uh, that analogy or explanation, but basically you can get this in anywhere that CBD is at. So gas stations, whatever else, but Looks like they're kind of putting the, the clamp down. So I'll put this, uh, the link to this article kind of explaining what it is. Um, so at the time when this is printed, I think Delta 8 was technically in a gray area, but they're moving much more towards at the state and federal level towards, um, you know, outlawing it or banning that. Well, uh, Josh, the federal statute talks about all of the cannabinoids and all of the cannabinoids are federally illegal uh, because they are not um, uh, FDA approved. Um, and the thing is, the this legislation and um, uh, regulation of these cannabinoids can't keep pace. And so Delta-8 was in that gray area, there was not a single statute that banned Delta-8. So, okay, if it's not banned, we can do it. And now you just see the legislation and regulation catching up. That's, that's all that's happening here. And if you were in the Delta-8 uh, market, um, either producing or buying, uh, you should already have been aware that this was a gray area and it was only a matter of time. Right. Yeah, we had a, a pack of Delta 8 um, hemp cigarettes mailed to us um, that we reviewed that on the podcast. Um, but if, in case you're curious, so how Delta 8 is turned into Delta 9 is called isomerization. It's a process where you combine CBD with the solvent acid, heat that up to cause a reaction that turns CBD into THC. So uh, really inexpensive way, I guess, kind of inexpensive to grow hemp and then convert it, at least in inexpensive by the means of not having to have a license. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. There's obviously a, a need for it, an, um, a demand for it. Um, and so with that, I think um, we're going to talk about the how the industry is expected to add $92 billion to the U.S. economy. Obviously, Delta 8 is just kind of... Um, one little niche of that edibles obviously huge and uh, so with that you have to check out our next uh podcast which is talking about how big candy is angry with uh with the cannabis industry and um how it's mimicking candy favorites aimed at kids not really that's just fox news so you have to come back to that one later on so with that we're going to roll this one up i want to thank my guest katrina gogowski angel investor and attorney thanks for this brief little chat about delta eight Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, or don't, and I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got. <laughs>